Hello and welcome again to Chris's Caribbean Delights and uh, today we're going to put a twist on things. We're going to move to uh, North Africa, uh, Africa and I was talking to a friend of mine um, who is Africa, of African descent and he, we were talking about the channel and the stuff that I cook and I demonstrate on and he said well did you ever try, did you ever do jollof rice? I said jollof right I know about it I mean I've had it before but I never thought of doing it so um, so he said why not do uh, you know but I, and I'm eclectic I just I can try anything from anywhere any continent so I said okay the challenge is up and I'm going to do this so he, he gave me his pointers and I'm going to add mine um, my 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 spill my spill on things on on the rice so I'm coming to you today with jollof rice um, it's a red rice uh, so uh, red rice and it's kind of spicy and uh, we're gonna I'm gonna put it together it's gonna be a, a Caribbean African Caribbean kind of kind of rice so if before further ado let's go and let's get our ingredients for jollof rice so here are the fresh ingredients that I'm going to use in my jollof rice. Um, I have some curly parsley here. I have some sprigs of thyme. I have um, a ginger paste. And I have garlic, I, fresh garlic that I chopped. And a freshly chopped onion. Um, there's, I'll also add some chili peppers in there for some heat. Okay. Um, I have here... Uh, tomato paste, tomato paste. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of tomato paste. I have a here a ground annatto. This is a red mixture, a red uh, bean or a seed that is ground up that gives your food color, uh, the red color. And um, it comes in a bag, uh, kind of. It says uh, uh, ground annatto or achiote molido but for whatever it is it's ground donato and it's a red seed that is ground and you can you use it in food to color to color your food I also have some paprika just in case I don't have enough red in there and I have some uh, some seasoning um, it's um, some bullion mixed with um, some uh, some other season, I guess some dried thyme, dried oregano, and uh, and stuff like that. So, um, also, um, I found this is and, and this is a, a big twist that I'm going to put on there is I found some. Um, so in my pot, I have heated up some coconut oil and. Uh, about a tablespoon of butter and I've, I've included my thyme in there that's going to go as uh, as everything else is going the thyme and we're going to we're going to fish the, the stalks out eventually the ginger the onion the garlic ginger paste and the curly parsley now I'm going to cook all of this up for at least two or three minutes. <coughs> to this I'm going to add part of my seasoning. just let this cook up for at least two minutes then we'll come back and we're going to add some other ingredients in here just keep it to medium medium low medium high medium low or just medium not too much of a high flame you don't need We just keep this moving. Mm 
Just let these onions cook up, the thyme flavor, the pot, and everything. In the meantime, whilst that's happening, I'll wash my rice a couple of times. Um, I usually wash my rice at least four times to get all that starch out. But sometimes until I see the water is clear, I can see when I put the water in the in the, in the, in the bowl, I can totally see the rice clearly through. So that means it's not uh, the water is not starchy. Okay, I did that about four times, so let's get to, let's see how this is done. Great. And also we're going to use, we're going to cook this with some chicken broth. I forgot to mention, this is going to be cooked with some chicken broth. I'll now include my tomato paste. Just ensure that this cooks in too. And this I'm going to also, um, I'm going to finish this, uh, this jollof rice, I'm going to finish it in the oven. So once I get started and I have the rice in here, and I got all my colorings and my seasonings in here. I'm going to finish it in the oven. So we're gonna let this uh, tomato paste cook for a few minutes. Right now you can go in with the anchovies. Anchovies. Yeah, I got some nice color there already. My annatto, ground annatto. Now we're going to go in with the rice. Because I want this rice to be coated with the color and the seasonings and everything before I add the, um, the chicken broth in there to, uh, for it to boil. So get every grain out of there the rice bought it brought its own liquid so turn this up a little Let this get all incorporated here for a little bit and let me get my uh, chicken broth.
Okay, now it's about time for me to add this chicken broth. We're going to add chicken broth to the maybe about a, two cups. It should just be an inch above the rice. So. Okay, so I'll cover this for about 10 minutes on the stove top before I put it into the oven for it to be completed. Beans to go the rice and some fried chicken. And here you have it, guys. My take on the jollof rice. It's just I gave it a little twist. So I hope you try this recipe. It tastes awesome. It's fantastic. Jollof rice. It's an African uh, dish. Um, so like, share, subscribe, and let me know what else you would like me to make from any part of the world. I'll give it a try. I love a challenge. Thanks for watching.